Good evening, guys. Hello, hello. Great to see you. Happy Thursday. Good evening. Ricardo, good evening. Gabby, hello. Great to see you. Good evening as well. Good evening. Enrique, hello. Hi, guys. How are you? Helen, thank you so much for joining. I see Mauricio, Judy. Hi, guys. How are you? Good evening. Happy All Thursday, fine. guys. Good evening. Thank you so much for joining. Really nice to see you. And uh, I'm glad you're doing great. I'm really glad you're doing fine. Well, guys, um, we are today in session number 22. So uh, we are going to like move on with a couple of things we got for today. Eh, Carlos creo que no se acá. Carlos dijo que tenía un par de um, ejercicios or equations with exercises in the platform. Hi, Ruben, good evening. Uh, guys, ¿cómo les está yendo en la plataforma? Is everything all right? ¿Han tenido dificultades con los ejercicios de Passive Voice? Todavía no han llegado ahí. You don't know what, what that is? Ya terminé yo el 91, pero me, me faltaron para, este, para llegar al 100. Ah, ok, ok. No, but 91 is amazing. So that is a very good score. Uh, pero igual, well, you know, we can definitely uh, check las que le hacen falta so we can get the 100%. Well, guys, uh, si hay algún ejercicio que les está dando dificultades, let us know. Y, y claro, podemos revisarlos. Um, ya se le oye, teacher. ¿No me escucha? I hear you. Oh. Guys, el resto de ustedes me logran escuchar. Yes. We are teacher, clear. Oh, qué raro. Ok. Ok, probablemente es el internet. Eh, me le demos. So probably it's just uh, the internet thingy here. Ok, guys. One moment. No, but, but at the moment I was not like speaking. So hopefully not tengamos like big issues with internet. Alrighty guys. Um, so, um, vamos a revisar un poquito uh, like vocabulary related to fears and hazards. Eh, que fue el tema que iniciamos el día de ayer, part of unit number four. Vamos a revisar también un poquito de passive voice, que es voz pasiva, eh, en qué contexto se usa. Es súper, uh, you know, uh, súper común. But of course, uh, normalmente hay un par de escenarios donde los podemos utilizar. So, un minutito, let me just get my computer running here. Okay, guys, so if you take a look here, I have a couple of uh, pictures related to jobs and I have this question that says, what are the most dangerous jobs and would you like to get one of these jobs? Guys, um, here the pictures represent part of the most dangerous jobs that we can get. What do you think, guys? ¿Están de acuerdo? Do you agree that these jobs can be dangerous? Hay otro empleo that you think can be dangerous too? But how is very much? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Me comí por aquí la letra R. R. So, uh, what are the, the most dangerous jobs that you can think of? I think go probably uh, be a police. Oh, okay. So, a police officer. Okay. Like security guard, police officer. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Like a Marine. Oh, Marine. Okay, someone from the Army, a Marine, police officers. Any other job that you consider dangerous? Thank you. Uh, what is it? Picture. Pintar. Mm -hmm. uh, what about dangerous jobs? 
what are some dangerous jobs, guys? Uh, Enrique, Helen, Ruben, any other dangerous jobs you can you can name? Hi, Angelica. Good evening. Uh, you uh, mm -hmm. He'll be working a port. In a port. On board in a ship. Oh yes. Okay, working on. Um, yes. But that would be exciting. <laughs> yeah, so working in a it's ship. Exciting, but it's too dangerous. Yes, it, it, it can be dangerous and exciting at the same time. Okay, okay, I definitely get that. Uh, here, guys, we have a couple of jobs that probably in El Salvador no los vemos, we don't really see them, but they can definitely be very dangerous. Uh, for example, we have here like a crocodile, so like a crocodile tamer. Guys, have you ever been to a circus? Have you ever seen lions, tigers, yes. gorillas when playing was, with people? When I was a kid, mm -hmm. come to uh, the city. Ah, okay. What do you think about those jobs? Would you like to work with animals and do, for example, really what the boy is doing? Really not, but it looks amazing. Looks amazing? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> okay, so it looks amazing. Guys, what do you think about this job? Uh, do you think this is a very dangerous job or not much? The first one, a tamer. Would you like to be a crocodile tamer, a tiger tamer? No, a panther tamer? Nobody, guys. For the ones who love animals? No. To work with elephants? Enrique? Uh, maybe be bad, but not like a tamer. Okay, I so probably like a bit. More dangerous. Oh, it should be, I think. Imagine like putting your head um, like in front of the crocodile's uh, teeth. So I'm like, mm, I wouldn't like that. <laughs> Ricardo, tell us. For me, hello. For me, electrician. Oh, electrician. The electrician. Oh, okay. So being an electrician, electrician. is dangerous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with you. So maybe being an electrician. Guys, what about no, these two ones? What about no, the rest of mm -hmm. what about the rest of the jobs, guys? Here we have uh, like sort of minor, right? Or los que extraen like piedras, the ones that are like stone collectors, um, miners sometimes, diamond collectors. Um, we have here a welder, right? But the person is not a normal welder, but is welding like in the water. Uh, why do you think this can be a dangerous job? Work in, in the top, como digo, altura. Uh, Heights. In the heights. Oh, okay. So working in heights. All right. Yes, working in heights. Imagine this person. So this person is that super alto. It's like on top of a building. So it can be a little dangerous. Um, Mendemo really? has too, right? shared working as a painter and gardener. Okay. So probably being a gardener or a painter. Any other job, guys? Sabemos que lo que tiene que ver con rescate de vidas, they are dangerous, like police officers, army, etc. But any other job that you consider is dangerous? Here in our country? Not really, none. Um, so, what about this question, guys? Would you like um, to get? Will we work in a fabric of ice? Ice? Yes. Oh, okay. So, working in a factory, in a nice factory. In a oh. nice factory. Okay. For example, yeah. when you crush all the, the ice, 
to do a little piece. You can lose your hair. It can be dangerous, but I believe they they have machines. Um, so I don't yeah, think uh -huh. I don't think you do it by hand. I don't know, but okay. So the, that will work. So I uh, factory workers. Um, so guys, what about like the second question? Would you like to get one of these jobs? Is there any dangerous jobs that you say, oh, a mí me gustaría, I would like to give it a try. This is exciting. Or not really, that's not for you. Guys, nadie le gustaría un empleo peligroso. <laughs> nobody would like to get, uh, nobody would like to get a dangerous job. Depends. It depends on what. Hi, Carlos. Hi, Delmi. Good evening, guys. It depends the, on what, Enrique. Kenya. The paycheck. Ah, it depends <laughs> on the paycheck. So, how much yeah. do you need? Maybe like a, a diputado, algo así. Va. A congressman, like <laughs> 3,000, 5,000. Okay, yeah. to risk your life. Okay. <laughs> okay. So in, in this For case, lo, lo valoraría. <laughs> so you will think about it. Okay. Okay, let me see. I think I say, hi, Kenya, good evening. Belen, good evening, guys. Francisco, thank you for joining. <laughs> okay, guys, what about the rest of you? Any other? I would like to work in checking antennas. Oh, Arnoldo, really? Uh, so, but what is the job, Arnoldo? Any idea on that? What do they do? Uh, que se suben a las antenas a revisar, por ejemplo, los... Hay unos foquitos que tienen a veces, o las uh -huh. propias antenas, uh -huh. a chequear circuitería o cambiar los focos. Esas oh. que, 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 que les indican a los aviones que están muy altas las antenas. Uh -huh. Oh, sounds nice. Is there one in El Salvador? Yes. yes. I just know there is one in El Boquerón, but no sé si es por aviones, but I know that is for telecommunication. Debería de tener también. Esos son de Skyes. Yeah, I don't know if that's Skyes, Ice, but I know there is one. Oh, but why? Why, Arnoldo? Why do you like that job? I don't know. Uh, I like the... The height? The height, yes. Oh, you don't get dizzy? Like dizzy, mareado, you don't get dizzy? No, no, I don't. Uh, okay, and, and a very important element that Enrique said, what about the paycheck? <laughs> Is the money good? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, is it dangerous? Yes. Um, um, who do you think about, um, because you, you, you clean? Okay, so you need to climb up. Okay, you need to climb up. Oh, okay. So checking antinas. ¿Cómo se le llama ese empleo? How do you call that job? Antina checker, no, right? No. There must I be a know. name. Oh, like an, I don't know. Probably maintenance. There must be a name. So let's find out what the name is. Maybe but it sounds... it's like a technician. Mm -hmm. Maybe an antenna technician. But there must be a name. But yeah, it sounds like a very interesting job. Okay. So in the paycheck, Arnoldo says that is it's okay. <laughs> All so, right. For example, in the, the, in the last picture, mm -hmm. uh, here in the Salvador, uh, for example, in a construction, uh, if you work in the highest, mm -hmm. you can earn uh, like uh, $5 per hour. Okay, and is that good or is that bad? Yes, <laughs> normally you earn like uh, 
one dollar to move two dollars. Oh. If you don't work in, in the hires. What do uh, yeah. Okay. So five dollars. Well, the thing is that come on El Salvador, we are not paid by hour, so it's hard for me to do the math. Okay. But también me imagino que el seguro de vida ha de ser super alto. So the life insurance uh, has to be super no high. Too much. Because <laughs> Because normally, when the son employees the mm -hmm. alto riesgo, uh, they have a very good life insurance. All the um, companies in the Salvador uh, don't respect that. Mm, that is so bad. So Be because no, it's the no, it's this case. No, it's the the, the case that have a high uh, seguro de vida. Life insurance. Life insurance. Oh, that's really bad. Yeah, because those are kind of jobs that are super uh, difficult. Okay, Francisco says Antina installer. Okay, probably as they said, uh, maybe a technician, maybe a maintenance, uh, maybe, I don't, I don't really know what the name is, but that sounds okay. So Antina installer or Antina technician. Okay, well, but guys, imagine, I mean, no estamos hablando de un metro, right, And Arnoldo? So how many meters are we talking about, 20, 30? How, uh, tall, are, how tall are the antennas? How high are they? I high in them. ¿Qué tan altas están? How high are the antennas? 30, okay, 40? Independent. Like uh, an estimate? 100 meters. Okay. <laughs> I'm giving you 20. Okay, 100 meters. Wow, those are really dangerous jobs. Okay. Okay, guys, In interesting. I, I thought you would say no. Okay, guys, so talking about like some of these dangerous jobs, it is also important to talk about accidents, to talk about some injuries um, and things that can happen at work. So, algunas de ellas, guys, incluyen accidentes that can just happen. Yesterday, for example, veíamos algunas um, hazards or dangers en la casa. Y algunas de ellas incluían slips, burns, cuts, sprain, broken bones, dislocation, blisters, swelling, hits, uh, falls, poisoning, broken bones, backache. Uh, fractured, bruise, or we can call this injury, bruise and sunburn. So guys, um, let's go over the vocabulary super quick. All right, so you can help me with this uh, things as well. So um, what are the words that you don't recognize? First, let's start with that. What are the Slip. words that you don't Slips. recognize from here? Okay, Slips. Slips. Mm -hmm. Slips. Anything else? Sprain. Sprain, okay. Anything else? Blisters. Blisters, okay. What else? Bruise. Okay, so bruises. Okay. Let me just underline them. So you said slips, uh, bruises. What are bruises? Oh, okay, bruises. What else? Blisters. Swelling. Oh, blisters. Okay, swelling. All right. Swelling. Mm -hmm. Burns. Burns, okay. Anything else? Hits. Hits, okay. Sprain. Sprain, okay. Do we have anything else? Poisoning? Broken bones. Envenenamiento. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you got it. Okay, broken bones, I said. Okay, very nice. So, a backache, like, like a pain in your back, a backache. Okay, guys, so let's go over. The, mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is a compound word. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at this one. First of all, imagine that in your house, uh, you forget to, um, there is water on the floor and you forgot 
to clean the water, to wet, uh, to dry the water. So it is wet. What can happen to you? You can sleep. Exactly. So you can sleep. So that is the one. Or there are some banana peels and you step on it and boom, you just slip. So this happens with, with everything. So guys, is this common for you? Do you normally uh, slip? Mm, no. No. It's for that room. At home, in, at work. Especialmente cuando son pisos cerámicos, right? So when the, the, um, the floor is super slippery or you just clean. So you normally slip. Then we have burn. Yesterday we were talking about cooking. So when normally we cook uh, or you boil water, so we get burned. That's super common. We have cuts and then we have a sprain. Imagine that you're walking and suddenly, whew, your heel goes, uh, gets twisted. So that is a sprain. That is very common with your heel, I would say. So a sprain, normalmente sucede con nuestros pies. That happens with our um, feet, but like still, calambre. sorry? Cal like calambre. Mm, no, like, like, like oh, twist. Someone? Yes, exactly. When you are like running and whew, se le va el tobillo, you know? <laughs> so that is called a sprain, right? No es una quebradura, so you don't break it, solo se lo lastima, se lo tuerce, o se lo dobla, exactly. So that is why we can call it twist. So you twist it or you sprained it. So it's como uh, una lesión, right? Se lesionó. So that is the one. Um, this happens a lot, I would say, no sé si les ha pasado en los, en los, um, en las muñecas, but I would say this is more common in your heel, right? In nuestros tobillos. Uh, then we have broken bones, dislocation, I think you know what that is. Oh, blisters. Guys, ¿qué sucede when you get burned? ¿Qué pasa inmediatamente cuando se quema? What is the, the reaction of your skin? Se pone rojo. Yeah, ¿qué más? It gets red. Se uh, Okay, ¿qué más? Ampollas. <laughs> yes, exactly. Oh. Those are blister. Like mm. water, watery, okay, watery thing, all right. So, como burbujitas de agua, like water bubbles that are made in your skin. So, they are blisters. No solo cuando nos quemamos, right? Uh, con zapatos nuevos, that can happen, like with shoes, uh, with burns. Cuando más se empollan, guys. Oh, when cuando you se are... machuca. Mm. Machucarse un dedo o Blistered. algo. Blistered. 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 Aunque... A mí me pasó esto aquí. Eh. Sí. Ay, pero tiene sangre. <ríe> Porque oh, ya me reventó, ya me tengo, reventó. La tengo un boca. buen ejemplo. <laughs> so, Enrique es like, wait, I have an example here. <laughs> okay. Ya me reventó la burbuja que tenía. Ah, oh, ok. So, a blister. When you get, uh -huh, so that, that could be a blister. When okay. you use a hammer many times, too. Yeah, when you use a tool, like, for a long period of time. Power exactly. Hand. Exactly. So, you rub it, right? And that is uh, that is way we say evening. <laughs> give me a blister with the ah, medicament. No, 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 no. Pero si viene similar, with the pills? You know? But it is super similar because mm -hmm. si nos hemos fijado en la presentación de las ampolletas, no, no ampolletas, sino pastillas, vienen como en burbujita, right? Uh, so le llamamos blisters, I guess, por la forma. But blister normally se forma en nuestra, en nuestra piel. So that is what you get in your skin. Me imagino que de acá tomaron el nombre. I'm not quite sure about that. But, but let me investigate it. <laughs> Pero también le llamamos blisters. That's right. And hablando de la siguiente, swelling. Ya lo mencionaron too. So, uh, but this is more common when you sprain a part of your body. So if you twist your heel or you sprain your heel, ¿Qué es lo que pasa inmediatamente with your heel or with your foot? Se hincha. Mm -hmm. That is called 
swelling, right? So that gets swelling. Uh, also, ¿en qué otro escenario it gets swollen? Well, you already said it, cuando nos golpeamos, right? So when mm. you hit a part of your body, any other situation? When a bee. Ah, bee sting. A bee sting, all right? Como con la picada o la... la um, uh, that's the not aguijón. a picada. El aguijón, yes. So with a bee sting, all right? So it gets swollen. Uh, or swelling. ¿Qué más? Anything else? Uh, when you have a local infection. Oh, when you have an infection. Okay. Yeah, that's very common. When you have allergies. Oh, allergies. That can happen. Okay. Yes. Anything else? A swollen. So when we get allergies. Yeah, when we have an infection or a I don't know if it is only an infection. Uh, Gabby, maybe you can help us with that. Pero cuando está como inflamadito, like your cheek or your gum, es una infección o solo es dolor. It's because of the pain. Es infección. Okay. El, el proceso de inflamación viene acompañado con dolor. Oh, okay. So that is an infection then. All right. So we get swelling here. Uh, hits, guys, that's a hit, right? <laughs> when someone okay. hits you. Uh -huh. So when someone hits you, then we have foils. I think you know what it is. Poisoning, like guys. Have you ever gotten poisoned? I have no. No. Intoxicated. No. Intoxicated. You with use, food. You use with the mariscs. I have with seafood. Yeah. So, okay, so we call it food poisoning. Poisoning, poisoning. So that can also be food poisoning, right? Uh, so with seafood or sometimes con vegetales cuando tienen algún veneno, right? Y no los lavamos apropiadamente. So that can be food poisoning. We have backache, so a pain in your back. Uh, and we have bruise. Uh, guys, what happens to you? If someone hits you super, super hard in any part of your body, uh, what happens to your skin? Well, uh, Los moretes? Yes, exactly. So your skin changes color, right? So it gets green and yellow and purple and all the different colors that we can imagine. So that is called bruise. Uh, and uh, do you get bruised easily? Les aparecen like easily some bruises? No? No. No, really. Oh, okay. Guys, what about the rest of you? No les aparecen like very often some bruises? Eh, no. Dependiendo del tipo de golpe, a, a mí en diciembre me pasó un semi accidente. Oh, what happened? Una semana antes había estado jugando fútbol. Okay. Y el siguiente fin de semana fuimos y empezamos a tecniquear un ratito. Y en un estirón que pegué porque la pelota la tiraron muy corta. Mm -hmm. Me tronó la pantorrilla. Oh. Y solo fue el dolor y caí al suelo, ya no pude caminar. Okay. Y resulta que la, el músculo de la pantorrilla se me como que se partió en dos. No, what? La parte se me bajó. Wow. Entonces el morete se me hizo desde ahí hasta el tobillo. Uh -huh. Menos mal que era casi que a tres días de salir de vacaciones. Wow. Pero no, oh, quizás como dos meses la lesión. Pero it sounds painful. De, right? de hecho, cuando me veo el músculo que lo tensiono, se mira un agujero en medio del músculo, donde una parte bajó de como que se abrió y se bajó de la pantorrilla. Eso todavía no quedó bien. Uh, pues así now? quedó, o sea, se... se, se you don't se recover it. ¿Mm? You don't recover it. Pues yo camino bien ya. But it's Solo que painful. el músculo no ha quedado uh -huh. así del todo bien. Yo hago ejercicio, camino, bicicleta y todo, y no me molesta ya. Oh. ¿Verdad? Pero sí se nota donde una parte del músculo de la pantorrilla ha quedado un poquitito más abajo y se mira como cortado el músculo y se mira un agujero en medio wow. de eh, Como que se, 
rompió la, el ligamento. Exacto. Algo así. En el momento que yo hice el paso hacia adelante, la parte de la pierna trasera, no sé qué fuerza hice, no fue ni, ni siquiera extraordinario, pues, pero uh -huh. como había estado jugando una semana anterior, yo dije voy a jugar otra vez y lo que menos me esperaba era eso. Uh -huh. Me But, tocó que pensar sentado el resto de la, de la reunión, porque era una reunión de trabajo de fin de año. Oh. Y pues ahí sentadito, quieto. Pero me so puso la pero feo, se me puso bien fea la pantorrilla hasta el tobillo horriblemente morado. Ah, uh, yeah, actually it sounds super weird, pero yes. afortunadamente no fue nada, you know, mayor, so uh -huh. it was not. Gracias a Dios, uh, yo pensaba uh -huh. que era el hueso porque cuando se me rompió otro no, como que era hueso roto. O el talón de Aquiles, you know, that is even worse. Ajá, so, pero ese es más, uh -huh. un poquitito más abajo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Ajá, el But, niño fue justo arriba, abajito de la weird. rodilla, en la parte trasera. Mm -hmm. Horrible. So, wow. But suena muy doloroso. It really sounds like super painful. Sí. So, but that is actually like a common bruise, you know. Um, so, normally también tiene que ver con nuestra piel, I think. Because uh, entre, más, entre más clara nuestra piel, somos, I don't know, todo se marca, guys. <laughs> And that yeah. includes like a little hit like a little punch, everything. So normally, uh, si me tropiezo con algo, if I stumble upon something, inmediatamente I know that I get a bruise. So I, I have sensitive skin when mm -hmm. I uh, af me afeito. Ah, when you shave. And uh, when I shave my face, uh, here in the, in the cuello. Does it get sore? Yes. Se le pone yes. como lastimado? Does it get when sore? I, when I get sweat, Or it itches, or like that, como, como, Sometimes, como not all the time, but I use many cream oh. after shaving and, and mm -hmm. solar filter and something. Wow. Because my work is in the street. Uh -huh. So your skin is kind of sensitive, as you said. Yes. But yeah, that, that is a, a reality. So, anyways, mm -hmm. we have to take care of it. All right, yes. so any other accident, guys, that can happen at work or at home? Is there any other accident that we are missing from here? So we have slips, burns, hits, broken bones. Algo más que les haya pasado? Blisters, swelling, fractures? No, pero eso que dijo él de, de romperse el ligamento, un músculo. No sé cómo se dirá eso en inglés. Uh, so that is not a broken bone that would be kind of a sprain or a muscle torn probably a muscle torn but that wouldn't be very common so a muscle probably a muscle torn but let me investigate say otra palabra para decir como es una ruptura so i would say muscle torn but let me check it out muscle torn Muscle turn. Ah, yeah, it's muscle turn. Muscle turn, muscle turn. Okay, so it's the other way around. So according to Google, it's turn uh, muscle. That's the one. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, do we have another one? Algo más que les haya sucedido? Nothing else? Oh. Sí, yo me machuqué el dedo. Okay. <laughs> Pero, o sea, se me va a caer la uña ya. Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. <laughs> But with a tool or with a car or with a door? Eh, era eh, una máquina de las que armamos. Entonces, okay. una, pole, una polea con una paja y fue que la giramos y me agarró el dedo. Uh, okay. But you immediately move your finger, I guess. Yeah, but... Okay. Me, me pasó hinchado como una semana. Ah, okay. And the worst thing is like when it is beating, right? <laughs> Cuando empieza como a palpitar. <laughs> so when it is It's beating. Así. Como que oh. el corazón se va justo para ese lugar. Yeah. No, <laughs> but, but look at his look at his fingernail. So la uña realmente ya está por por mudar, no you know? Ajá. So, Enrique, ¿cuántos dedos tienen machucados? <laughs> you got blisters. Todos, todos. <laughs> but, but you work with air conditioning, I remember, right? But the air conditioner have 
a lot of that. Uh, bueno, hay de bastante, o sea, hay unos que son hasta el tamaño de un cuarto. Like the industrial ones. Yeah. Oh, so you work a lot with heavy objects. Yeah. That makes sense. So, how many new nails will you get? <laughs> ¿Cuántas uñas nuevas? How many new nails will you get? Only one. Esta es la primera, pero no sé cuántas más voy a tener. <laughs> okay, no, but that happens a lot. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. So, uh, any anything else? Tell me, Rafa, guys, what about you? Any other accident? Margarita, Iris, hello. My case. In my steel hole, I was hit by a car wow. and broke my leg. That's wow. why I have nails and plate. In your leg? Yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. When? This year? Mm, 17. 17 years ago. Yes. Hace 17 años, 17 years sí. ago. Um, in, in the street? Yes. Wow. I okay. don't remember. Okay. You don't remember the accident? No. Wow. Yeah, 17 years ago, that was a long time ago. But does it hurt? ¿Todavía le duele, Miss? Does it hurt? No. Not anymore? No, gracias a Dios. Okay, yeah, because I'm not sure, but I have heard que cuando hay como platino, you know, screws or something, eh, duele con el clima. So I don't know if that is true. Guys, mm -hmm. maybe you can tell us. So si se siente, so you feel it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, wow, but sounds pretty big. Pero puede ser cualquier actividad, Miss. You, uh, can you run? Can you walk? No. Anything? Mm, what is no something you lo, cannot do? No puedo correr por mí mismo. You cannot run, no. but but like jogging? Ir a trotar? Eso sí. Okay, so you cannot just run. Okay, okay. Wow, thank you for sharing that. Okay, guys, so we're going to like go over a couple of things and I really like and uh, del miss example that said um no es que fuera bueno you know but the example or what she mentioned was really good like ella fue golpeada so she was hit uh some time ago and uh, actually the next exercise is related to that so give me one moment and uh, wait my computer is stuck so and this is actually the exercise what accidents uh, happen to you or what accidents have happened to you ya vimos los de Enrique we have already seen Enrique's evidence right <laughs> that a tool hit him uh, we already heard about Carlos accident and we have we know that some accidents can happen at home at the office in the street etc like this one for example so we know that she is going to fall but the point is, ¿cómo expreso, guys? How can I express um, accidents? Normally, no es que yo haga algo, es que algo me pasa, right? Um, so something happens to me, and I'm going to uh, retake here the miss example. So she says, I was hit uh, by a car. So normally, expresamos lo que no sucede or the accidents that we are victims of using esta forma right here. So, um, a esto guys le llamamos voz pasiva, we normally call it passive voice, and if you take a look, it's bien interesante because we use verb be and we use el pasado participio del verbo. So, ¿qué les ha pasado guys? Guys, what has happened to you? No que ustedes se lo hayan auto provocado, but alguien más, you know, um, did it for you. So we can say, for example, alguien me quemó. No es necesario decir quién lo hizo. So I can simply say, I was burned, right? So yo fui quemada, yo me quemé. That is, that is the way we normally use it. So I was born uh, with 
with a motorcycle. Motorcycle. So, and no es necesario que diga quién, right? Because in this case, for example, I was born with a motorcycle. Yo solita me quemé. So I don't really need to say who did it here. But también it is possible to say I got born. Me quemé. I was born, I got born, and both are good. So um, let's go over passive voice super quick. Um, very important. Here, puedo utilizar el verbo bien presente. Like, for example, I am hit by a car. Pero la idea sería, yo en este momento soy golpeada. Right? If I make it into past, I was hit by a car. Yo fui golpeada. Right? Um, si yo utilizo presente perfecto, I have, voy a utilizar been, I have been hit. Yo he sido golpeada. So we can use these like in a lot of different tenses. Um, no cambio la idea, pero sí cambio cuando sucedió. I am changing when this happened. Vamos a revisar passive voice, guys, uh, in a very general way. Y luego hacemos los ejemplos so we can go over this part. So um, let's take a look at this example here. Eh, passive voice es bien fácil, but el detalle es que en español normalmente decimos yo fui, right? Uh, yo fui, guys, denme un par de ejemplos con yo fui. Yo fui golpeada, yo fui insultada, yo fui despedida, yo fui contratada, anything else? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What comes to your mind? Yo fui pequeño. Uh, sí, pero empujado. de algo. Empujado, ok, yo fui pequeño, eh, perdón, yo fui empujado, ok. Para quienes eran pelioneros, guys. <laughs> so in the example, you can give us. I was hit many times. I was hit many times, <laughs> ok. O fui castigado, I was banished a lot of times. Fui regañado, I was scolded. So esa expresión de fui. Es la voz pasiva, right? Uh, for example, let's take a look at the one we have here. Tenemos un ejemplo bien general that says a model T car uh, was invented by Henry Ford. So, uh, tengo que Henry Ford inventó el model T car. And if you take a look, cambiamos un poquito el orden para expresar voz pasiva. Estoy diciendo lo mismo, solo que cambié el orden. Uh, Henry Ford invented the model T car the model T car was invented by Henry Ford. Digo exactamente lo mismo. I'm saying exactly the same, pero intercambio el orden. So, let me show you something here. I have Henry Ford built the car. So, para hacerlo más fácil, guys, voz pasiva means voy a tomar qué fue construido, qué fue golpeado, qué fue entregado. In this case, Henry Ford built the car. ¿Qué fue construido, guys? The car. The car. The car. Voy a comenzar entonces. The car. Now, uh, built. ¿Es presente o es pasado? Pasado. Ah, ok. So, let's take a look cómo vamos a armar la voz pasiva. The car. The car. Necesito incluirle el verbo be porque eso no está. Entonces, I'm going to include it. And I say the car, como fue pasado, wow. el verbo be es en pasado. The car was built, el pasado participio, pero es el mismo. By Ford. No es necesario agregarlo. I can simply say the car was built. And that is perfect. That is really good. So we call it passive voice. Again, es súper útil. Uh, for example, I have this word. Ford will produce the Fiesta car again. Um, so, guys, ¿qué va a ser producido? The Fiesta car. The Fiesta car. Entonces, mi voz pasiva is going to go with that part. So, the Fiesta car will be produced. So, ¿qué estamos haciendo here? Entre la primera y la segunda es el mismo significado. You are saying exactly the same. Ford will produce the fiesta car. Fiesta will be produced again. I'm saying the same information, pero ¿qué cambió, guys? What changed? Uh, primero, no, eliminamos no. Ford. Dígame, dígame. 
curl. Yeah, but fiesta car, fiesta, so entendemos que hablamos de, del carro, right? Mm -hmm. Pero sí, podemos quitárselo. Will be, exactly. So, acá no está. It's only will produce. Y acá puse will be produced. So, ¿cuándo voy a utilizarlo? Be careful, please. Ford va a producir. Eh, the brand is not necessary. Lo podemos omitir. We can omit it. And here we have a fiesta will be produced. So guys, practiquemos a little bit the following parts because I know that's a un poquito complicado. It is not, but uh, we need like a lot of practice with this thing. Vamos a empezar con lo más fácil que es pasado. Eh, in the platform and in the material aparece presente perfecto, but primero necesito que sepan cómo lo van a utilizar, right? Y luego revisamos el present perfect. So, again, what accidents have happened to you? ¿Qué les ha pasado, guys? What have happened to you? Vamos a comenzar utilizando I was y luego the past participle of the verb that you want to say. Again, remember, lo que estoy diciendo acá no es yo era, sino yo fui, pero en el sentido de algo me pasó. Entonces, it's important to make the difference here. So, uh, si quiero decir yo fui golpeada muchas veces. I was hit a lot of times. Yo era terrible, me castigaron muchas veces. I was, and I had punished. Pero if you take a look, no digo yo castigué, digo yo fui castigada o me castigaron, right? Y necesito el pasado participio del de verbo punish, que es punished. So that is going to be the one. I was hit a lot of times in the school. I was punished by my, by my teachers a lot and by my mother too. So guys, um, Si hablamos de accidentes, significa que alguien más le causó el accidente. Um, or de, probablemente nosotros mismos, right? Pero como no es necesario decir quién lo hizo, I'm going to use this one. Yo me quemé. I was burned. Or I was burned. Ambas se pueden, right? So yo me quemé. I was burned. Um, so mi dedo se cortó. No quiero decir quién lo cortó, si fui yo, fue un accidente, etc. So my fingertip was cut. So my fingertip, como la puntita de mi dedo, fue cortada, was cut, right? So podemos usar, no con todos es posible, not with everything, but algunas sí. So guys, can we try to make a couple of examples, please? ¿Qué les ha pasado, guys? What has happened to you? ¿Qué les han hecho? So if you want to say, fui empujada. So I was pushed. Mm -hmm. Fui, I don't know, alguien imagínense que les dio un puñetazo. So I was punched, right? O alguien, o su mamá, por ejemplo, I don't know, by accident probably, um, les dio como una, yeah, slapping. Uh, les dio una bofetada, so we can use slap. I was a slap. Probablemente by accident or not. <laughs> okay, or the, si alguien los castigó uh, y e hizo como, um, how do you call that one? Uh, I don't want to sound rude. <laughs> okay, when you have babies and your babies are terrible, it is not necessary to use the chancla. But you can spank them. So spank is directly in the butt. Um, but no encuentro la palabra en español. <laughs> but like, nalgada. Yeah, but I don't know. Hay una palabra más formal to say that. <laughs> chancletazo. <laughs> but chancletazo es, es más como un smacking. Uh -huh, but palmada. Es, but es, una palmada. Okay, okay. I like that one. Una, una palmada Pan, en el vino, vino. behind. <laughs> ok, so spanking es eso, right? Como eh, pegarle a alguien, una, darle una palmada, especialmente a los niños, so especially children. Um, uh, and I was bite. 
uh, I was like the mordida. Yes. I was beaten. Uh, by what? Que la mordió or who or what? <laughs> uh, a classmate. By a classmate. Wait, eso no me yes. lo esperaba. I didn't expect that. <laughs> so you, uh, I was beaten by a classmate? Okay. But why? When, with, the, with the kids that pass always oh, or but, normally. But beaten? I thought maybe a dog, a cat, I don't know. But a classmate? Me, no, no, pero maybe que le hizo. for nervous. Oh, but she kind of uh, beat your hand, your arm. My arm. Okay. Oh, that is not common. <laughs> okay. No. No, no se hubiera esperado probably pop, you know, or or uh, but not beaten. Okay. Okay. So I was beat by a classmate. Very uncommon. Nice. I like that example. Okay. Guys, what else? ¿Qué más les ha pasado? What has happened to you? I was uh, swallowed, you say? Mm, yeah. Swallow. This one? Swallow de tragar? No, no. Como doblarse. Algo. Como dijo Orequera. Uh, swollen? Swollen. Swollen. Mm -hmm. Swollen. Mm, ok, but I was swollen, quizás no tendría mucho sentido, como yo fui inflamado, pero sí puedo decir de la parte del cuerpo. So, ¿Qué parte del cuerpo no, pero, se le inflamó? No, como, como torcedura, como torcedura. No, oh, sprain. Sprain. Mm -hmm. Yes. But, ¿Qué parte del cuerpo fue? ¿Your heel? ¿Su tobillo? Y, no. Um, Rodilla, ¿cómo se dice? Oh, ok, so my knee. My knee was swollen or, eso sí podemos decirle, or sprained. So my Rain. knee was sprained. Mm -hmm. So el pasado participio. Or my, my knee was twisted, sprained, or is, um, swollen, actually, sí se puede. Como mi rodilla fue, se inflamó. So it's possible to. Mm -hmm. Or it's a sprain, o se torció. Eh, playing, playing, oh, playing, ok. Ya la rodilla mala, you know. <laughs> ok. Yeah. yeah, I know. Guys, anything else? Do you have more examples? I was stoned. Oh. Uh, yes, I was. Hi, Andrea. Sorry. Hi, Miss. Yes, yes good chela was Andrea. <laughs> I was stung. All right. By bees. Yes, by B. Uh, like uh, all over your face or in what part of your body? In my arm. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I was stung. All right. Yeah, this happens with bees or the scorpions, right? Mm -hmm. So I was stung. Anything else, guys? I was I was, I was push, push. Uh, uh, fly, flying and twisted my tobillo and ankle. And I, was, ankle. I was pushed. Okay, playing twister. But pushed like, alguien lo empujó, right? I was pushed. Yes. Okay, so playing twister. What happened to your, to your oh, oh, with your did you say ankle or your uh, or the person ankle? Eh, no. ¿Cómo se dice tobillo? A uh, heel. Heel. Okay. <laughs> sí. Well, puedo utilizar ankle too. You can use this one, ankle. Ankle. Mm -hmm. An uh, ankle. Heel is más como el talón. Let's say. No tanto el tobillo. Mm -hmm. el so, tobillo. So, pero, ¿qué le sucedió a su tobillo? What happened to your ankle? Me doblé. Oh, I was pushed. 
pero, pero jugando Twister. No, sí, no, no, claro. no, 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 este, fue, yo jugaba softball en la federación, okay. me empujaron, okay. y este, cuando caí, me, me doblé el tobillo. Ah, ok, y yo lo entendí, Twister. <risa> ok, so I was, no, but estamos súper bien. Then. So I was pushed playing baseball, you said? So I was pushed playing baseball. Ahora solamente dígame, right, que su tobillo se torció. I went. I went. So in my ankle. How do you say torcer? Guys, I, mm -hmm, is, uh -huh, so in my ankle uh, was, we can say, was a sprained. Sprained. Oh, we already made it. Oh, that's a very good one. So I was I was pushed playing baseball and my ankle um, was a sprained or got a sprain when I fell down. <laughs> very nice example. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? I was nosebleed, nosebleed. Mm -hmm. When mm -hmm. I was about 10 years old, out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Let me just think about it. Mm, in that specific case, quizás no podemos crear la voz pasiva porque no hay algo que como que lo cause, you know. So that would be my nose uh, bled. My nose, sorry, my nose bled. That is the past participle. My nose bled. Uh, como es algo directo, um, en, en este caso no podríamos ponerle uh, el was. So I was bled. Mm, a menos que alguien le cause el sangrado, you know, like alguien me, ajá, a menos que al, algo o alguien, like por ejemplo, le están haciendo un proceso uh, en la nariz y alguien le causa un sangrado, so that would be, I was bled, de lo contrario. A hit? Uh -huh. for, a, uh, for a hit, a hit with a, a ball, uh, for example. My In my case, I, have, I was playing bad. basketball and the, the ball hit me in mm. the mouth, make me bleed. bleed. Yeah, but eh, ese es quizás de los verbos que no podríamos utilizar voz pasiva, eh, porque lo utilizamos como yo sangre, I bled. So I was bled, y es como que me sacaron toda la sangre, you know? So, uh, okay. quizás sería un poquito diferente, that would be a little different. Pero si podemos utilizarlo de esta forma. Like, my nose bled when someone hit me. Or I bled uh, when someone hit my nose, for example. So, yeah, but yes, quizás sir. en voz pasiva no podríamos. ¿Ya, yes, Ricardo? A wife fui player fútbol. Nos fregaron tu vida. Oh, ok, ok. Um, so, cuénteme qué pasó. ¿Qué le, pasó jugando, a su, ¿Qué le pasó a su tobillo? Cuando estábamos jugando, me pega un, un buen, un buen, ¿cómo se llama? Golpe en el tobillo. Ok. Me lo, me lo Pero, doble. ¿usted solo se golpeó o alguien lo golpe, le golpeó no, el tobillo? el del otro equipo. Ok, so that can be my ankle was hit. So we can use this one. My ankle was hit. Or I was hit, right? So, sin ser tan específico, I was hit. Or the, uh, podemos utilizar también injured. So my ankle uh, was injured. So fue lastimado o lesionado, right? My ankle was injured. So it is possible too. Okay, guys. So, um, Guys, these passive boys, ¿cómo les sienten? How do you feel this thing? Is it a little complicated or estamos bien? Are we good so far? Dudas, questions? Dudas, questions. 
No questions. Ok. So, again, esta es voz pasiva en pasado. No hemos visto todavía en presente perfecto, que es el que está incluido dentro del material. But, para nuestros propósitos, it works. So, guys, vamos a revisar un poquito uh, the material that we have so we can practice a little bit too. Give me just a moment. And, uh, um, hold on. Hold on. There we go. And uh, we are going to check a little bit of hazards and risk. So yesterday, guys, we checked the word risk. So today we are checking hazards, right? Que son kind of very similar words. So hazards and risk at the workplace. Um, we have a conversation here and it says um, two managers are discussing about risks and hazards at different locations in the company. Read the conversation and take turns practicing it. Um, antes que me ayuden a leerla, so let's just go over a couple of words that can be a little difficult to pronounce. So we have hazards, we have safety, we have measures, um, give me one second. Let me see any other word that can be kind of, uh, I would say that's it. All right. So guys, just practice and repeat with me, please. Hazards. 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 Safety. Okay. Safety. 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 Very good. Measures. Me. 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 Yours. 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 Measures. Measures. Okay, esa palabra is quite complicated, so I would say it's kind of me. Sure. Uh -huh, kind of measure something like this but esta lleva como una D. I don't know really how to how to write it down but this is the way that I see that so it is kind of major major so major. uh guys hagamos ese sonido please major 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 exactly that is the way Major. It, it's very similar to major. like major. Uh -huh, major. So, no, es una S, pero tampoco es una Y. No es major, but it's not major, but major, major. major. It's a little bit crazy. Okay, guys. So, let me, uh, please help me read in this one. Um, let me see. Let me see. Uh, uh, um. Iris. Hi, Iris. Can you help me read him, please? Okay, teacher. Thank you. Help me with the part of Marcos, please. And uh, let me see. Um, just Carlos, please. Help me with Josue. Let me check. If the list of hearts and safety measures is complete, measures for electric, electric snog for electrical burn, yet it is how you finish at the first draft for the office safety plan, plan yet? Already, Marcos, now I work on the plan for reporting hazards on incidents. Great, great. I work on some ideas on co controlling risk because we haven't made much progress on that. All right, then I work on establish the incident probabilities, the potential severity, risk value, and risk level. That sounds good. We want to have everything ready by the end of the week. Thank you so much. Very nice, guys. Uh, Iris, are you feeling okay? Are you with a flu? Yes, teacher, a little. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, le escuché la voz de repente. A little different. I was like, wait. Yeah. <laughs> okay, espero que se mejore, Miss. I hope you feel better. Okay. Thank you. It's a very nice reading, guys. Let's take a look at some questions we have about the uh, reading here. Who has worked on the office safety plan? According to this one, uh, who was working on the office safety plan? Marcos or Josue? Marcos. Uh -oh. Sorry. Uh, actually, Marcos asks here, have you finished the first draft? Right? Like a draft is like a borrador, like a report. Mm -hmm. So that, was, that is Mar, uh, Josue, right? That is Joshua. Okay. Uh, who will work on the plan to report hazards and incidents? Who is going to report the hazards? Joshua. Joshua too. Okay. That's good. And the last one. What is an area of the risk assessment process in which the pro the managers haven't progressed much? What is an area that they haven't had many progress or like a lot of progress yet? Marcos. Okay, what does Marcos say? ¿Qué es lo que dice Marcos about that? Some ideas on controlling. On controlling? Risk. Risk, exactly. So, ¿cuál es el área, guys? I'll work on some ideas. That is actually the area. So, controlling risk. The, because we haven't made much progress on that. So, no tienen idea how to deal with those kind of things. Okay, very nice. Guys, we are going to move on uh, to the following page that is number 34. And here we have a couple of words. Uh, it says, match these terms related to training and personal development to the meaning. We have risk, hazard, exposure, safety measure, irreversible damage, and precautionary. So the question is, what is the definition for most of these words. What is risk? What is a hazard? What is exposure? What is safety? I'll give you two minutes, guys. I think that two minutes will be enough. Si necesitan diccionario, it's okay. You can use your dictionary, no problem. Two minutes, guys. Tan lindo ese bebecito, muy lindo. Pero no le he nada, yo creo que pues eran poquitas palomitas, amor. No le he
One more minute, guys. Okay, guys, so here we have, let's start with risk. What do you have for risk? Potential to be dangerous. Potential to be dangerous and cause harm. Oh, very interesting. Do you have the same? I think that's that is unprotected from something dangerous or unpleasant. Mm, okay. Okay, uh, guys, let's start with, let's start with the top, okay? And then we come up with the rest of them. Give me one moment. Uh, for example, the first one says consequence or damage that is so serious that it's impossible to uh, undo. What is this one? What is the number? Number five, 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 five. Damage. Uh, oh, yeah, irreversible damage. Okay, number five, very good. Next one, aim to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. Safety, Safety measure. Okay, um, do you have the same? No, yeah. precautionary. Okay, it says aim to protect someone or something from a hazardous situation. Is this precautionary or is this safety measure? What do you think, guys? I think the six. Number six. I think it's the six. Okay, so it's between number four and six. I'm going to write number six then and <laughs> then we check, no problem. Uh, number next one procedure okay this is a procedure for procedure to prevent Wait, something four. dangerous four. from happening safety measure is Danger. that a procedure okay okay number next likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances what do you have here i think number two hazard. number two a hazard Number one, number three, three. Number one, number two, number three. <laughs> Can the mass guys? <laughs> okay, number likelihood two. number two. Okay, I'm going to tell you what most people say. Luego le doy la respuesta. No problem. I'm protected from something dangerous or unpleasant. What is unprotected? Number three. Number three. Oh, exposure. Number three. Porque estamos expuestos, right? Okay. Y la última, guys, what is missing? This number one's one. Uh, one. potential one. to be dangerous or to cause harm. Number one. Okay. And the answers are. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, guys, amazing job. Eh, solo voy a cambiarles two. I'm just going to change two. And they are this one. Um, the one that says likelihood of harm in a specific circumstances is, is risk. And number potential, potential to be dangerous or to cause harm, eso lo consideramos un hazard. Pero en realidad en Spanish, um, so ambos son riesgos. So we call them riesgos. Uh, but yeah, 
That is the one. Los demás super bien. Very good job on that. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So um, let me just erase this. And let's move on to the exercise we have right here. Uh, we'll complete this one, guys. And it says a uh, brainstorm examples of workplace hazards related to each of the categories in the chart. So, hemos estado revisando algunas situaciones, right? Like office hazards, electricity and fire hazards, uh, hazards and risks, uh, but this is very general. Hazardous substances, slips, trips, and falls. Guys, ¿qué significaba slips? What is the meaning of a slip? Realizarse. Exactly. So, uh, a slip, trip, trip is como um, tropezar con alguien o con algo, right? So, a slip, trip, and fall. So, what we are going to do, guys, is brainstorm. Brainstorming significa hacer una lluvia de ideas of examples of hazards related to each of the categories. So, if we are talking about electricity and fire hazards, ¿qué nos puede causar un fuego? What are some of the things that can cause a fire? If we are talking about uh, slips and trips, ¿qué nos puede causar una caída uh, in the workplace or, or at home? Hazardous when the floor uh -huh. is wet. Ah, when the, when the floor is wet. Okay. Hay una palabra que les voy a agregar también acá, que es slippery. So, especialmente ahora que hay lluvias, right? Los pisos tienden a estar deslizables. So, that is slippery. Que algo que se desliza, right? Uh, hazardous substances. ¿Cuáles son algunas sustancias peligrosas? or the, que nos pueden causar riesgo. Um, ayer escuchábamos que algunos habían tomado gasolina, ya. Yeah. <laughs> a bleach, okay. Cleaning product. Cleaning products, yeah. But what else? What can cause a hazardous, what can be a hazardous substance? Para los que usan también venenos, como venenos para rata, venenos para diferentes insectos. Um, so we can have hazardous substances there. Alcohol, you know, things like those. So, guys, vamos a hacer una lluvia Fertilizer. idea. Fertilizer. Fertilizers. That's right. Fertilizers. Pero también um, the, the pesticides, you know. So pesticides in case uh, you have plants flowers, etc. So, guys, vamos a trabajar en grupos. Uh, these four, son cuatro categorías. We have here four different categories. Let's make um, at least cuatro de cada uno, right? So, four different situations that can be hazardous, that can create a fire, um, hazardous substances, slips, trips, and falls, etc. And then we come back. Let's go, guys. We have five minutes to do that. So, ahora si necesitamos escribir, we need to write for each, please. Hello, Miss. Uh, 
este es un me sacó y no sé si estoy en el... En el... Ay, no, 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 sí lo sacó mis... Deme un momento. Ah, es que creo que está en dos dispositivos. Permítame. Intente ahorita, por favor. Bye. Or something. Do, do you say? What do you say? Heated by electricity connecting a computer or something. Yes. Can can, can works. Can happen, sorry. Can happen. I, I like the example that it is said. Get stood in the elevator. Yes. We should put in two. Yeah. Because it's, it's great, we, we can put in two. Okay. Maybe the, the, um, the example that Carlos said about the connecting the computer, could be in electricity and fire hazard. Um, yes, yes, will be better. Will be better. Continue with number two, electricity and fire hazard. Number one, we have it. Hitting by electrical connection. Yes. Um, I don't remember, how do you say? when you get 
Like a chalk, electrical chalk, maybe. But mm -hmm. when you touch, will be better. Will be but, better. But when you touch, um, uh, why it that is, que está está como helado. <laughs> Was. It will be. But, but it's, it's the same, I guess, that the. Uh, how do you say? Different words. Yes, yeah, almost the same. But I, I said uh, in the case, for example, when the, the wire is on the street, for example. Oh. Maybe you are walking and you. I hope that don't happen never, but. Yes, it happened. Yeah. It happened. Yes, it happened here. I, I remember yeah. maybe. Yeah, I, I say that. One year. Don't, don't happen to you never. So. Ah, <laughs> I, I hope so. The lady in La Colonia Escalón. Yes. Yeah, that was horrible. She burned in fire. Yes, it was horrible. Yeah. But I don't know how do how do you say that? Yeah. It's okay. It is by electricity, but wires. Yeah. Oh, maybe in the street or in the floor in the street. I don't know. Um, but I think there is a verb that could be better. A step, maybe a step a wire on the street. Okay. We have two. And the uh, two house could be born and because uh, have a electric circuit. Mm, I don't understand. The juhos can burn, and um, when you have an electric circuit. Ah, okay, okay. Ah, uh, maybe. Um, uh, because of of uh, overshare some electrodomestic like yes. something, something like that i i hear that um it's common that happen when you have i don't know how do you say but when when you have a a, a resistencia or equipos que tienen resistencia like iron, um, like toaster, like toasters, eh, teteras también las, los, los cafés, como digo eso. Eh, coffee yeah. machine, maybe. Sí, coffee machines, the microwaves. The microwave, yes, that is common. And the cell phone too. With the boiling water and the microwave. Yes.
Esos son los que tenemos. Sí, en la, en la, en la de en medio les decía. Hazard and Riggs. Yeah, broken. ¿Qué dice peligros y riesgos? Broken. Mm. God. Dice <laughs> todo. Mm. 
In ¿Alguna instalación? Ahí. Uh -huh. uh -huh. ¿Un toma corriente mal instalado? Poor electric installation. Uh. ¿Puede repetir? Poor electric installation, no sé. Mala ah, instalación. Okay. Uh -huh. um. Un cortocircuito. No, porque llegamos no. siempre a la primera. Pero eso era electric, electrical over, over, overload. Over, overload. Sobrecarga eléctrica. Es lo mismo que un cortocircuito. Mm. I don't know. <risa> ah, este, creo que no. No. Porque el no. cortocircuito es cuando se, se cruzan las dos líneas. Las dos líneas. líneas la fase okay. y la tierra. Ajá. Ah, y aquí es una la sobrecarga. Es... es porque ya se pasó la capacidad. Ajá. Un calentamiento, podríamos decir. Un circo cortito, cortocircuito. <risa> Entonces, un, sí. un, un circuito corto. Short circuit. Short, short. No, es. ¿Cómo es? Um... Podemos usar el diccionario. Shorts. Shorts circuit. Short circuit, pero es circuit. Uh -huh. Oh, no, no me acuerdo. Don Carlos me dijo la vez pasada y se me olvidó. <laughs> Um, a short circuit is okay. Short circuit sounds fine. Uh, yeah, we can use that one. Okay. Entonces sí, short circuit. Short circuit. ¿Cuántas cuántas tenemos de eso? Ya ya. Solo nos falta la primera y la última. Me regalan la otra, yo solo tengo electric car overload, overload, eh, fireworks y short circuit. Eh. Uh -huh. Yo también solo tengo tres. Muy bien.
<risa> solo tengo tres, gente. Bueno, entonces, <risa> en, el, en el siguiente, eh, que son los clips, tres son los escaleras mojadas eh, se lo habíamos puesto wet floor wet eh, floor um, slim se pone, se pone listo cuando hay mucho polvo. Eh, caminar bajo la lluvia. Eh, eh, risk, eh, en el camino. In my job, we... We say uh, it's a risk to fall is and a box is in in a estante. I don't remember how to say in don't have a, a un, un, no tiene un tope en la parte de atrás. Entonces, ese es un riesgo de caída para para nosotros en, en, en la empresa. Pero en no sé. la estantería. Ajá, en la estantería no tiene tope y eso eso lo, lo categorizamos como riesgo. Shell, Shell, Shell. Usar el teléfono mientras se camina o se baja a grabar. O use sí. cera on the floor. Cera, no sé cómo se dice. ¿Qué? Okay. Cera. Cera líquida. Ajá, cera. Para, ah. supuestamente para darle brillo al piso, pero eso a la larga. Sí, me he escapado a matar por el piso. El piso pulido es wax, right? What? Wax. Yes, that is wax. But I wax. totally agree with you. That is horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Entonces, you use wax on the floor. Ok. Entonces, eh, con los, los, los sugestantes. Ajá. Eh, caída de cajas. Sí, o sea, prácticamente eso es. Like okay. mo most of the shelves, um, I don't know, they don't have like a hold, I would say como algo que lo sostenga, right? So the boxes se pueden se pueden como ir pasando, let's say. Ah, uh -huh. mm -hmm. sí. Mm -hmm. There is not like a hold. Oh, maybe um, bueno, en el piso mm -hmm. cuando no hay no hay tapadera. Digamos que de, un, de una ductería podría ser. Que es porque exactamente es una caja de registro y no tiene tapadera. Entonces, eso es un riesgo de caída. Uh -huh. eh, tra tipo tragante. Ajá, algo así como tipo tragante. Se llamará tragante. <risa> Al buen salvadoreño. Ajá. Es. Gran poder, no sé cómo se dice.
Alcantarilla. <coughs> Alcantarilla sin, ta sin tapadera. Y si lo ponemos como a needing a street. Guys, if you're looking for the word alcantarilla, that is como el servicio de aguas residuales, we normally call them gutter. So yeah. I read it here in the chat. Mm -hmm. So you can say like gutters with no cover. Right? Like cuando se la roban. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so gutter with no cover or yeah, it's just gutter. Toda la alcantarilla or, or even el, como los que nosotros ponemos los canales dentro de la casa también se llaman gutter. So como los desagües, we, we call them gutter too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Gutter. Sería un gutter without Without cover. Without cover. Mm -hmm. Yes. Cover. And and I relate a lot to that because today I was driving and tenía días de no ir a San Salvador, you know, and, and the, oh my God, se han robado todos los gutter covers. <laughs> <laughs> That's horrible. Sí, en, en la Monseñor Romero creo que hay como cinco que no tienen. Yo ya perdí la cuenta. Yo solo los esquivo. <risa> no, but it, it's y super... este lo venden, teacher. Yo creo que sí, mi porque ¿qué más van a hacer? Porque es metal, <risa> right? I mean, it's, venden, it's es, es metal. Es metal de, y lo peor que lo venden es sumamente barato. Ay, y es un y riesgo. Es que <risa> But, I mean, uh, in Soya, like on the way to el ex, ¿cómo se llama ese bus que pasaba? Uh, Citrams, ex Citrams. Oh, that's horrible. And uh, today I was checking near Olympica. Oh, that's horrible too. Sabía uh, feo. It's really, really, you know, yes. bad there. En el sector de los hospitales, eso también es horrible. Because of the gutter covers. Se los han robado too, or, or the streets. Sí, en frente del. Ay, especialidades, creo que es. Ah. Está uno. Que la última vez casi caigo ahí. Es que, y son grandes, o so they are big. But they're like, that's a serious risk. <laughs> so that's definitely one. Driving is a risk. El driving es un riesgo, sí. Bueno, todo es un riesgo, guys. La <laughs> Everything verdad. is a risk. Staying at home is a mental risk. Driving or mm. working in the site is a risk. Everything is a risk. <laughs> <laughs> guys, ¿les falta todavía? ¿Are you missing some or, or almost done? Almost done. Just one, right? Ah, oh, ok. Perfect. Good, perfect. Entonces, eh, de electricidad y peligro de incendio, ¿qué más podría? Eh, la, que dijo, la que dijo el compañero, por electric installation. Por electric installation. Así dijo, ¿verdad, José? Sí. Sí. Okay. Eh, y en la oficina, eh, ¿alguna silla quebrada? Sí, puede ser. Sí, sí. Yo que casi me he caído. Me de... <risa> Se quebró una pata con una rueda. <risa> That's so funny. <risa> Have you ever fallen down with a chair? In the office, no, but yes, that happened. At home. 
Y la verdad no me, dio lo, no me dolió la caída, sino la vergüenza. La vergüenza. <risa> Se levantó en el momento. What did you do? <laughs> What do you do, Francisco? <laughs> Because everybody's reaction is different, you know. Sometimes uh, people stand up immediately, and exactly as, as Angelica said, like aquí no pasó nada. So, um, <laughs> but. Sometimes people mi, stay mi, down. Mi, compañ mi compañero me pregunta, ¿se cayó? <risa> Así me gusta sentarme, yo sé. <risa> yo me siento como quiero. Ay, no. Pero lo ayudaron, so did they help you? No, solo se quedó bien, se puso a reír. <risa> Ay, la compañera, solo nos falta una de peligros de oficina. ¿O ya están? Bueno, no, creo que ya están. Ya están. Creo. Sí, ¿verdad? Con la caída. De la, la caída del recién fue la última. Vale, entonces me regalan la, la, la de peligros de oficina. Electric cable, stick without railing, eh, Broken, right. Broken windows. Ah, Broken windows. Ahí está. Yes. Eh, faltaría una de, de, de sleep, sleep. Ajá, es la que me falta a mí. Sí, falta una. Guys, hasta la cabeza me da la de reírme. <laughs> <laughs> Hasta me imaginé a Francisco falling down the chair, you know. I got this shit. Ya se desestresó. Sí. Yeah, that's, that's cool. Ay, no, that was super funny. Okay, guys, uh, but yo creo que ya casi termina. So let, let's go back. Give me just a moment. Hey guys, thank you so much for coming back. So, espero que hayan podido avanzar con un par de risk, uh, like hazards at work, que hayan contado también parte de sus experiencias and uh, uh, que se hayan, you know, reído mucho. Guys, I was telling the last group, ya me duele hasta la cabeza de reírme, you know, because... <laughs> Because of the experiences that you have shared, so it's super, super cool. And um, estamos hablando un poquito de, de hazards at work, right? Algunas situaciones que le pueden pasar en la empresa, at home, in the street, etc. So, guys, ¿cuáles son algunas uh, that your classmates mentioned? ¿Qué son de las cosas más comunes que les suelen pasar? In the office, sure, for example, you can sleep in the stairs. Oh, you can. Okay, yeah, you can sleep in the stairs. That's right. But alguna vez se han caído. Have you ever fallen down the stairs? Yes, I once. Oh, was it bad? Was it a bad fall? Um, not too bad, but uh, I, my, my... Me? Uh -huh. 
Ya, de mí. Ajá. My knee was scratched. Oh, también la rodilla mala. You know? Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, that's bad. That's, that's horrible. Were you wearing high heels? No, I always use flats. But ah, I don't know. Fortunately. I, yes, it's, I, I think the words it was... Uh, it was... Um, That was a, a embarrassing situation. <laughs> Se ve lo peor fue la pena, no la caída. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because I... of the office it was watching. <laughs> oh, but okay. Yeah, that was that was bad. No, but you know, guys, you know, that has only happened to me once. Uh, <laughs> that was, I think, kind of funny. Um I was going to university. No sé si les he contado. Have I told you that story? Not yet. Not yet. No. So that was bad, I would say. That was in the street. Um, I remember that I was, I was wearing high heels because I had a presentation at the university. And uh, I was in the bus a long time ago, you know. And the thing is that no sé si les ha pasado que a veces tienen una, un pie arriba, un pie abajo y el bus arranque. So that kind of happened to me. One of my foot um, was down and the other was in the stair. So mm -hmm. the bus kind of moved, you know, forward. And uh, I kind of slipped, you know. So cuando el bus se detuvo, I hit part of my cheek against the bus. That was bad. But as you said, al final, no fue tanto que me dolió el golpe, but <laughs> la pena que todo el mundo me vio. <laughs> yeah, la es que es lo que más lo mata a uno, la vergüenza. <laughs> yeah, and, and I stood up like super, super quick. Um, you know, como si nada había pasado, right? As if nothing had happened. Smiling. <laughs> No, it is smiling, but like, oh, okay, let them hurry up. But the problem was that, you know, I wear braces. So, no me había dado cuenta que cuando golpeé el bus, when I hit the bus, um, los, los braces, you know, los, los hierros, the material, kind of me hirieron toda la parte del labio and, and my mm. inner, you know, gum. So that was bad. <sighs> that was really bad. Pero en el momento, you know, era más la pena que el dolor. <laughs> But sí, yeah. Sí, sí. So, Eso es lo que pasa. Yeah, Accidentes happen. En los, pasó, 80, en los ochentas hice un trabajo de, de temporada de vacaciones en diciembre. Uh -huh. Entonces era ahí en el mero centro de San Salvador y okay. habían arreglado, bueno, no sé si recuerdan dónde estaba el cine central y la prensa gráfica, ahí en el centro, uh -huh. donde estaban anteriormente, sobre la tercera calle Poniente. Uh -huh. Y entonces yo venía del banco y en esos días estaban de moda aquello de andar los pantalones así, medio cortitos, a lo, a lo Michael Jackson, calcetines blancos y zapatillas, ¿verdad? Así que oh. se veían calcetencitos. Really? Okay. Yeah. Ajá, se puso de moda. ¿no? Entonces yo venía atravesándome la calle y me la atravesé así medio corriendo. Y la calle recién la habían asfaltado. Eh, el asunto es que a la orilla, justo en la cuneta, habían dejado un bordo alto. Y yo no me percaté por ir corriendo. Entonces cuando yo me paré en esa orilla, el pie se me dobló por completo. El Ajá, y el calcetín blanco lo arrastré y ni siquiera puse las manos en el suelo. <risa> Y cuando yo quise dar el paso, ya no pude, ya no pude, no podía poner el pie en el suelo. Y no lo peor es que me había llevado hasta una bicicleta que mi papá me había comprado una semi carrera. ¿Y cómo me regresaba si no podía ni caminar ni manejar bicicleta? Mucho menos, ¿verdad? Pero el, el ¿cómo pie se había para? lastimado. Cuando yo llegué al lugar que ya logré pararme, el tobillo lo tenía, pero horrible, de enorme, de inflamado. Uh. Sí, Ooh, horrible, horrible, that horrible. Sounds bad. Sí, sí, horrible experiencia. No sé cómo hicimos, logramos localizar a mi papá y él me pasó a traer en el carrito que tenía y subimos la bicicleta y nos fuimos y me asobaron ese día. Fue ahorrando wow. el dolor. Horrendo. Me imagino, y más, back in the 80s, no habían teléfonos celulares, WhatsApp, no, no. You know, Facebook. Solo now. los hijos, nada, nada. Se, nos wow. tocó encontrar a mi papá en la oficina de casualidad. Logramos encontrarlo y ya él llegó a traerme, pero fue una experiencia horrible. La sobada fue lo peor de todo. Ahí, imagen, pero lo importante es que no puso las manos. 
Sí, Eso no me la hagas sí. Se ve el calcetín blanco. Okay, that's that's crazy. Okay, guys, thank you for sharing your stories. That has been super interesting. Me quedo, you know, también con la historia de Francisco. Francisco nos tiene que contar mañana su historia. You have to tell us like, what happened to you and everything. <laughs> Francisco tiene buenas historias, guys. Okay, uh, mm -hmm. guys, antes de irnos solo, eh, les voy a tomar asistencia. Me ayudan un segundito con su cámara, claro. please. And guys, agradecerles porque estaba revisando la asistencia y la mayoría ya vamos eh, cerquita, you know, del, del mínimo de asistencia. So thank you so much for that. Nos quedan solamente tres sesiones, guys. Eh, recordarles que estamos terminando eh, clases on the... Uh, let me see. On Tuesday, ya estaríamos terminando el próximo martes, right? Así que, guys, eh, thank you so much for that. And, um, en un momento, Andrea, por favor, regálame confirmación. Here. Gracias, Belén. Belén se estaba, but I think she was working. Carlos. Present. Gracias, Delmi. Present. Thank you, Miss. Enrique. Enrique Present. Un momento. Gracias, Francisco. Present. Thank you, Helen. Present, teacher. Creo que Helen todavía se ha quedado con la historia de Francisco. <laughs> Imelda. Present. Thank you, Miss. Iris. Present. Thank you, Arnoldo. Uh, Arnoldo se está. Ricardo. Present. Gracias. Present, teacher. Thank you, Kenya. Escuché Kenya too. Present, And teacher. Angelica, thank you, Miss. Present. Thank you, Gaby. Present. Rafael. Rafael escribió, teacher, al chat, como oh. se le murió la okay. computadora. Gracias, gracias. Eh, Yuri. I'm here. Thank you so much. Y Mauricio. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. Ok, guys, gracias a todos por, uh, you know, estos minutos. Nos vemos el día de mañana y no se les olvide avanzar con la sesión número cuatro, right? Bye, guys. Have an amazing Bye. night. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye. Have a good tomorrow. night. Have Everybody. a good night. Bye-bye. See you. Tomorrow. See you. Uh, okay. His computer is down.